in the past 50 years in the U.S., we haven't lost a single child to a, a, a fire in the public school. But in the past 10 years, we've lost f almost 400 kids due to violence, and we're devoting almost no resources to that. It's, it's easy to say, well, violence doesn't solve anything. Well, the truth is, in these events, violence is the only thing that solves it. If you're going to stop this event, it's going to be with force. We're, we're not talking about teaching people to shoot back. We're not talking about carrying firearms. We're not talking about any of those things. We're talking about if I'm trapped in my classroom and I've got my 18 kids with me or my 25 kids with me, I would like to have options beyond huddling in a corner. You know, what we want to show in our simulations is that typical lockdown procedure is fine until the guy comes through the door, but after that it's terrible. Um, so you see in our progressions that doing something is vastly better than doing nothing. But the best thing is coaching the teacher to neutralize the killer. A typical session is about three hours, and in that three hours, we're trying to take a teacher from zero to 100, you know, and we're focusing on the fight part of run, hide, fight. It's not touching gloves and going five rounds in a cage or, you know, ten rounds in a boxing ring. My win is going to be going home safely to my family that day. We see a teacher that's maybe never thrown a punch before in her life and never thought about hitting anybody in her life go from that place to tackling a gunman and, and, and neutralizing a killer and feeling like they could actually do something if they had to. We need you to get hands on. We need you to experience it. The hard part is actually committing to do it. And the drills and the simulations that we have people do, that's the difference. The training matters.